This video is about genetic tests that look for variations in many genes at the same time. Historically, when a person had a genetic test, the doctor would only order testing for one gene at a time. With new technology, it is now possible to look for variations in many or even all of the known genes in one test. We will explain what the results from these types of tests can and cannot tell you. If you are deciding whether to participate in a research study that looks for variations in many genes, or to have this type of test for clinical purposes, we hope the information presented in this video will help you make an informed decision. If you have already gone through testing and received results, we hope this video will help you understand your results more clearly. New genetic tests can provide information about many genes contained within the cells of your body. The tested genes can influence a number of health outcomes. If the test is for clinical care, the test results will exist in your permanent medical record. In some cases, but not all, the genetic test results may include information that will help your healthcare provider take better care of you now or in the future. If researchers offer to tell you about results from genetic tests used for their study, they may also ask your permission to put the results in your permanent medical record. In order to understand the information gathered from genetic testing, we need to go back to the building blocks of genes themselves, DNA. DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is a molecule that carries genetic information in the cells. All the genetic information contained within a cell is called the genome. Through billions of bits of biological code, our DNA provides a blueprint for building different parts of our bodies and gives instructions to cells so they can do their work to keep us healthy. A single strand of DNA is made up of specific pairings of four different chemicals, represented as the letters G, A, T, and C. These letters make words, and the words make sentences. These sentences are called genes. More than 99% of the DNA makeup of every human being is the same. Although your DNA only differs by less than 1%, these variations contribute to how you look, how your body functions, and how likely you are to develop certain inherited diseases. Like a fingerprint, your DNA is uniquely your own. With genetic testing, it is possible to find variations that cause or increase the likelihood of illness. Variations sometimes reveal how you might respond to different types of medicines or treatments. It's important to know what genetic results can and can't tell you about the conditions tested. It is also important to understand the limitations inherent in genetic testing. This is a sample of the type of results you might receive from your genetic test. Despite looking at many genes with one test, Oftentimes, the gene variations associated with the disease cannot be found. We call these negative results. This means that if you have a medical condition, the genetic cause was not found. However, the cause of your medical condition could still be genetic. The test simply was not able to find it. Some research studies may want to study variations in genes that increase risk for certain diseases. A negative result in this situation means that the test did not find any gene variations that increase your risk for developing the diseases that were tested for. However, negative results do not eliminate your risk for the tested diseases. Sometimes, family history can help your doctors determine if your risk is higher than the general population. Sometimes other genetic tests are available to assess your risk. A negative result in the past does not change the diagnosis of the present. For example, 
If you are diagnosed with a heightened sensitivity to pain, but no genetic cause was ever found, you still have a heightened sensitivity to pain. A positive result may indicate the presence of gene variations that diagnose an existing health condition or show increased likelihood of developing certain medical conditions. For instance, you might have a variation in a gene that increases your chances of having higher levels of cholesterol, which can contribute to heart disease. Having this data within your permanent medical record can be used to make decisions about medicines, diet, or appropriate lifestyle changes that might lower your cholesterol level and help prevent heart disease from occurring. If symptoms are already present, the genetic test result may help your doctors choose a better treatment that is tailored for you. Let's examine the example of increased cholesterol more closely. Variations in certain genes may change how your body is able to process cholesterol. If you end up with too much bad cholesterol or not enough good cholesterol, it can increase your risk for heart attacks. Exercising and eating lots of fruits and vegetables and foods low in saturated fat can improve your cholesterol levels and reduce your risk for heart attacks. Sometimes lifestyle changes are not enough and people need to take medicines called statins to lower their bad cholesterol. If your doctors know you have gene variations that increase your risk for cholesterol problems, they can monitor your cholesterol levels on a regular basis and make treatment recommendations that can improve or maintain your health and ultimately help you avoid a heart attack. All types of genetic tests have some limitations because of the laboratory methods used to do the testing. Remember that there is less than 1% difference between you and other people. That still amounts to about 3 million variations throughout your DNA. The vast majority do not cause disease. Different types and different numbers of variations are analyzed by each genetic test. So a negative result could mean that the particular testing method simply missed a disease-causing variation. As our knowledge changes, the meaning of the variations we find can change as well. If a genetic test is being used for clinical purposes, you can choose whether or not to have the test. If many genes are being tested for a research project, scientists may give you the choice to learn one or more of the results. You can always choose not to learn results. In either situation, it is important to ask questions to help you make your decision. Some questions you may wish to consider include, what type of conditions will be tested? Is the test used to diagnose disease or to determine risk for disease? Does the test look at genes that predict how I might respond to medicines or other treatments? How long will it take to get results? Will my test results go into my medical record? Who will be able to see my results? Will this information change the cost of my health care in the future? Why do people decide to get genetic testing? Why do they decide not to have genetic testing? Depending on the type of genetic test, gene variations for a wide range of health conditions could be looked for. Some tests might identify serious or severe conditions like cancer or heart disease. Some genetic tests might look for conditions that start at birth or during childhood, like cystic fibrosis or extreme obesity. Some genetic tests may look for diseases that start after you become an adult. Earlier, we described how high cholesterol can increase the risk for heart attacks during adulthood. Making lifestyle changes and monitoring cholesterol levels during childhood and starting medicines if needed can drastically reduce your risk for a heart attack when you are an adult. Sometimes you can't do anything to prevent the disease from occurring, but you might be able to start looking for subtle signs of the disease during childhood 
so treatment can start before there are severe disease complications during adulthood. Here's an example. A result might reveal you will get polyps in the colon that could cause life-threatening bleeding or could turn into colon cancer. The polyps can't be prevented, but they can be detected and removed before the serious complications occur. Some genetic tests might look for diseases that start during adulthood, and there is nothing you can do to prevent it or cure it once the disease starts. Alzheimer's disease is an example of a condition like this that some genetic test might find. Some people want to know if they are at increased risk to get Alzheimer's disease so they can make informed life choices, like the type of career they want to pursue, or whether or not to have biologic children or adopt them. Your doctors or the scientists leading the research project you are in may have tools to help you make your decisions. Remember, it is your choice about the type of results you want to learn. The results you receive may be life-altering information, and receiving your results may cause a number of emotional reactions. You may feel anxiety, relief, conflicted, empowered, or connected. Let's look at each emotion individually to discover why you might feel this way. Relief. You may feel a sense of closure or relief if you receive a negative result. You may also feel a sense of closure or relief if the result explains a disease you already have. If a genetic condition runs in your family, your result may enable you to make definitive plans and bring a level of comfort. Conflicted. You may be unsure about what and when to tell other family members about the result. Anxiety. If you receive a negative result, you might not learn anything to help explain a medical condition you or a family member is experiencing. You may feel anxious or sad if this happens. If you receive a positive result, you might learn that you are at increased risk for developing a disease. Remember that increased risk does not mean that you will get the condition only that you are at increased likelihood of developing the condition. You may feel anxious or sad if you learn this information, particularly if there is no known treatment or screening for the condition. Empowered. After you receive a genetic test result, you may feel you can take charge of your health. Connected. If you receive a positive test result, you may find that additional resources are available to you, such as support groups. These resources may provide additional information and or support. All of these reactions are normal responses to new medical information. It is important to consider how you might react to positive and negative results when making decisions about genetic testing. These results can potentially be an emotionally impactful experience for you and your family. An important question to ask might be, what will happen to the results I don't want to learn about? If the test is being used for a research study, all the results will likely be used for study purposes. It is becoming more common for scientists to share your de-identified genetic results with other scientists. De-identified means personal information like your name, date of birth, or contact information will not be linked to your genetic result. However, because your DNA is unique to you, it may be possible to trace your de-identified genetic data back to you. In addition to the issues raised by negative and positive test results, you should also be aware of other possibilities that can arise from receiving genetic results. It may be important for other family members to know your gene results. You share 50% of your genes with each of your parents. About 50% of your genes are the same as each of your brothers and sisters. You pass on 50% of your genes to each of your children. Therefore, if you are found to have a gene variation that can cause disease, it is possible one of your parents, 
some of your siblings or some of your children also have the same gene variation. Therefore, other biological family members may want to consider genetic testing for themselves. It may be possible to determine biologic relationships with a genetic test. This has the potential to reveal unexpected information about other family members. There are important considerations if the genetic test results will be placed in your permanent medical record. Due to the Federal Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act, GINA, health insurance companies by law cannot deny a person health insurance based on genetic testing. However, you can be charged higher premiums or even denied life, disability, or long-term care insurance based on your results. If other family members seek genetic testing for clinical purposes, they should be aware that many genetic tests can be expensive and may not be covered by their insurance carrier. It's been said that the best and least expensive medicine available is preventative medicine. The hope is that genetic testing will continue to improve and be another viable tool in the field of preventative medicine. We hope you have found this video informative if you are considering genetic testing for you or your child.